on table uh, one, we have well, that looks like a really dodgy rack. It's pointing like right up the table. It's nowhere near, surely. Anyway, I'm sure it'll help him get a ball, but not the white one. That's uh, Gary Frederick playing against Lee Anderson on this table. And on the other table, Warren Hodgson's about to break. dry break for was let's Derek Patterson of Leeds come so both tables at the minute we have players from Leeds come different <laughs> from Blackpool but anyway As well, looks like he's got a decent chance here. Similarly, on the other table, the chance for uh, Derek is not quite so simple. Quite a bit of work to do. Although that red isn't as close to the uh, cushion as I thought so he can nick it in and the yellow does go past the sorry the red does go past the yellow into the left centre and Asbo has not played the best shot of his career put himself in a snooker Hasbro got a bit of work to do, so I think we'll stick with table two for the time being. As was just coming out of his snooker on the other table. Decent bounce off the cushion, but he has left a chance now for Gary. So it's looking like on his even in the first two frames. Gary dispatches the black to take the lead, but realistically, on table one, you would think the position of the balls. Would mean that Gary should win this frame, although he's just got a bit awkward there now. I, ex I expected him to, to just play that in and then leave himself leave flick off the yellow bottom left of the screen just leave him tight in behind the other one 
not gone that way. I think he can flick off the yellow, put it into the right centre and develop the yellow that's on the cushion if he doesn't feel com comfortable where it is. plant and he hasn't got it and uh, Asbo with a chance now this red will go into the top left pocket top it through with the white following up the table in a straight line pretty much after it's kissed the red push the red over to the centre of the table Didn't get a very good connection with the red, but he's fine where it is. Both those balls go to the left centre, or if he feels right now, he can take it into the right pocket, bottom right pocket. I'd prefer to be using one of the balls at the top of the table to get on the black. Whatever he feels comfortable, though. Can pot this bottom right, screw out off one cushion. And take the red. Into the left centre. that very well it's just come a little bit straight you might find him top it through two angles bring the white down the line with the black makes it easier to position skip off the side cushion off the top cushion and down the potting line of the black ripple of a pros and people watching Dispatch the black well. Come on, the second favourite. Asbo, his usual uh, <laughs> his usual self. Seeing if he can get another skin of the lads from Liverpool. A little wink to me <laughs> in the box. He's a bad dog. Table two. Russell looking in pretty good shape on the Reds. Just cut the one on the right of the table, which is obviously an issue. the black didn't execute it very well he has got a total snooker so we come off one cushion nudge into the red hopefully leave the uh, the white behind the black and Dave has been kissed enough on the other table Dave Birchall off his break. Not a particularly easy chance though, so he's got work to do. 
And we'll go to Russell. Blaney's safety on this red. Just needs to... Thicker contact would have done him better. He's left handy a chance now. And he can get through to the yellow and the nearest the right centre. Dave Birchall's opponent on table one, Nick Callagher. The uh, the team criteria, selection criteria, is that I think you're allowed one professional and you are required to live within 15 miles of each other. And it's nice to see that the teams that have got through do fit the criteria. Oh, and a mistake from Nick on table one. Leaves Dave with a chance, but Andy has got a good look at this finish. So we won't leave the action here. But yes, uh, we said about the teams for the first year team that won it well I'm not convinced they were all from the same area I think there was five different accents in a four man team <laughs> and that's just Sheppy's split personality I'm sure there's a few of us a few of you watching in the in the chat room I, I've turned my internet explorer off just to dedicate a bit more bandwidth to the stream not that we're struggling uh, but I'm afraid my interaction will be negligible in the final as when people are watching it back they'll be thinking what's he going on about best for these I don't know if the uh, yellow will pass the black into the bottom right bag that's what Andy's going around to have a look at now doesn't matter if it doesn't because he's got a good angle here he can just if he wanted to he can top through quite away and get the white on the cushion take the yellow depending on his angle he can take it into the, the bucket on the right hand side of the table or the, the middle bag nearest him from his body language, I'm assuming that he's pretty straight on it. Uh, well, he obviously had an angle, uh, so... Yeah, I don't... well... Uh, looks like he's played to leave himself a double. Uh, <laughs> I know what he's like, you see. I said the other day he didn't mean to play a shot and he comes back, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Can't believe it, can you? Big shot this now for Andy. taking his time with it I can bring you over to the second table give you an idea of what's Dave's got in front of him and he's back on the table there now so played the back double
and you'll be disappointed, obviously, with that. But the Leeds boys take a 3 0 lead. Left him on this one to the bottom. Right, Dave might need to have a look at the angle. But he could perhaps potentially off two cushions into the into the yellow. Nearest the black, that's the one that's causing the problem at the minute. That's what he's looking at. Even with a decent connection though, it's difficult to see how the balls can develop to be perfect, so. Dave's got his leg over. And a couple of flicks later, it's going to do him. The, the yellow effect will go into the bottom right bag. For me, the best way to play position is you let the white do the work for you. Off the side cushion, off the bottom cushion, out towards the black spot be just a touch further wider than a black spot or you screw in it so I don't know that was the angle straight towards the black spot could have done with a bit more as I said you can drop this into the right there'll be a bit more distance between the cue ball and the object ball than Dave wanted he decided just to hit it and give himself a shot at it this can hold the white on the red good shot that's a very good cueing from Dave Birchall and I must say that Dave today has been the solid player in that pool saloon team played some great finishes in the first match and without the influence of alcohol in him Looks a different player. Quick switch to table two. Warren Hodgson against Lee Anderson. Warren breaking. Control break. He doesn't even hit it hard. Like a nice golf swing. Just swing through the ball. Doesn't need to be powerful needs to be true. I can probably get rid of that starting approximately midday. I don't know. Which start is that? look at the finish here uh, table two you can sorry table one you can hear the clatter of balls that's Dave Birchall straight back on that table 
breaking off. I assume he's playing Gary. Oh, he's playing Derek. And the dry break from Dave leaves Derek with no option than just to flick up the side of the table, leave him in a bit of bother. But Warren's still going on this finish. Looking good here. Just a bit awkward, depending on whether or not he can get clean to the passing angle of that yellow and be straight on it. So that he, that's what he's looking at now. It's whether he can screw back and leave the yellow into the same pocket. What he doesn't want to be doing is kissing the yellow down towards the two reds or over the, the bottom pocket. Looks... Mm, uh, yeah. To me... He can't, he, he's going to have to, uh, well, he's going to roll it through, sorry. He's rolling through, so where he's going to take the white, the yellow afterwards is uh, anyone's guess. And uh, on the other table, Derek just uh, tried to come click off a ball and went straight in off. See the wasp trying to jack up, trying to screw the ball back. Asking a lot here, so it is quite hard. And that's not bad. He has a shot at the double if he wants it. I don't think the slice is on. But he'll be happy enough with the double. Screw the ball off one cushion. The Wasp lining up that double. Kinda don't want to leave. Oh, he's taking the shot, so... The White needs to get out of the way. Great shot. Oh, that's awkward. Wild Warren thinks about this black I just kind of show you a quick update on what Dave's got in front of him on table one I will switch back to the black now Warren taking it and thinking to this pocket nearest the camera and that's a great black fantastic black great finish well done Warren so that brings it to 3-2 and Dave got a chance to bring it level against Derek and looking good to do so they've been in real good control of his cue ball all, all day today and it's it's uh, it's quite good to see perfect that is screw the white back four or five inches Leave himself on a stretch, just slightly hampered bridge. He's all right, right down the line of the ball. That's fantastic for him. So that Dave means the scores are now three each. With a little kick on the black, so. Accomplished finish there, and on table two, about to get underway with Gary Frederick to break. As you can hear, Andy praising the break at Gary. Rightly so. It's a great chance on red, this is.
Just a little shorter pace on that one. Have to dig into the ball now. Get to avoid the kiss on the other balls. Which is what he wants. I got a flick on the red, but it's it'll do him. Just recomposing himself, making sure he's giving the ball right. Planning his route. Me. Yeah, I'd like to leave the red nearest to white at the moment to the last ball gives him the best route back down to the bottom end of the table it looks quite thin the pot if he, if, he, if he can get on it so he can screw down the table then it's alright coming down the line of the, again I thought he'd overdone it but he's alright Off one cushion, left hand side, bring the light down. That is about as good as he can get. The position on the black. And he whacks it in. With 100% conviction. Well done, Gary. 4-3 to pull Saloon. mid-match stage Andy Max at the table whichever suit he's on he's looking alright here And now Nick comes to the table on the one problematic red that he did have us. Has, uh, has been freed by Mr. McDonald. Subsequently, you would hope that Nick will bring this level here. Jacking up on the ball, going to stop the white. Pretty much dead. Top this one through now. If he's got the angle, he wants to make sure he's not got hampered queuing on the red afterwards. Ooh, he's not played that well. He stunned it rather than topping it. If he tops it through, he can come further down the table and play the red to the left top back now he's in a bit of trouble if it's touching ball then 
it's meant to be for him today. <laughs> I don't think it is. Looks like he might be just flicking off this red. Maybe into the black. That's a good shot to bring the yellow. There he has. He's played that well. The red though, the deflect, has also gone into an awkward position. Leaving him a little bit awkward. Both players now in, put into slow motion. And over on table two, Lee Anderson, never one for slow motion. this back just pull up don't want to get too close to your work See the path, I think the, the white's going to travel back up towards the black. Touch short to pace, that is. He's forced now to play the red. He's hoping to be on last. He's going to have to play this with a load of right hand side. And the white to jack up off the cush. Maybe kiss into the one of the yellows. He wants, needs to kiss the front yellow. It's, it's, it's a decent enough angle. It's just stopping the white. Him, putting screw and right hand side on the ball, slowing the ball down off the cushion into that yellow. And he has played that well. Good cue. Not then as well. Brings the team level. A different face on Lee Anderson when he's playing, the man he's watching. All level. Check the scores with Russell. I'm just move it. Sorry. Uh, I can get it into the white. It's all right here now. May take the yellow to the top left now. Get the white to roll through. Just 100% concentration on the pot here. Really. Oh, he's played it well. Playing it this side of the red as well, it means he doesn't have to disturb the yellow. The two yellows next to each other. You can screw out now and avoid moving that. Doesn't want to leave himself overly hampered when he's queuing this one though. The yellow to the top right. So he might come out, take this one next, and then all he has to do is screw the white back to where he's going to leave it now. And he's got two roll ins. I 
excellent shot from Andy. 100% conviction on the pot. And now just stun it back. Two or three inches. And leave it perfectly into the bottom right pocket. For Pool Saloon to retake the lead in this final. Uh, the difference between these top teams and the lower teams that have been at the, the competition when the uh, pressure's on the standard goes up when you've got really good players when you've got you know amateur players pressure's on standard goes down these guys react positively to pressure Derek is at the table on Yellers. I need to make sure he gets it right. As uh, you heard um, Asbo in the background there. Confident Derek. And it's just going a little bit wrong now. Position was lost a little bit earlier in the frame and Derek's trying to pot himself out of the situation but it's getting gradually more difficult I don't believe the yellow in the middle of the table goes past the red into the top left back I can't see to be honest but I don't think it does while well, Derek reflects about his he's going to try and play it off the red I see Maka racking the balls up. Derek's just perusing his opportunity. And again, those balls look to be racked a bit ropey. They don't seem to be pointing to the middle of the table. Is that right? I'm right, Anna. It's miles off, that is. Good shot from Derek. Has he been lucky? No, oh, no, he hasn't. He's been very, very unlucky. I came before and Andy said, oh, I'm just practicing his break. He was. Oh, no. Looks like to me he needs to practice his racking as well. <laughs> Looking at it, he looks like he's got one arm longer than the other. Hard to tell from this side, but because of the cushion, you can't tell from the other side. So it's not the best viewing. Uh, I don't think this is either. Russell just touching up behind the reds. The great thing about this rule set, and he's not allowed to not go for him, which makes complete sense. Come two cushions. Oh well, it was an open table, so no uh, no need for Andy to try and do anything daft. Touching ball, Andy just nods his head approvingly. Just swerves. The other table gets out the snooker quite well. Whilst these uh, two on the other table are fudging about, see if we can catch Warren having a go at the finish.
Warren elected to play another safety. I, I don't think he's, he's not going to get two shots this way, is he? So I don't know how much advantage there is. If Derek wanted to, he can play off the bottom cushion, side cushion, with right hand side, and whack into the yellows. With that red on over the left centre pocket, it might double and flick off it, or with him being so close, it might squeeze and push it into the pocket. There's, there's a couple of chances for the balls to drop here. Don't want to leave this table just for the time being. Derek's going to take it on. I'll keep my eye on table one, on table two, I mean. And just when he comes to take a shot, I will return back. But Andy Mack has managed to work himself a chance here on Reds. No, I think it's Reds. wasn't even stupid so And uh, I think he wanted to flick the black out there, flick it towards the pocket a little bit. He wasn't convinced it went, didn't hit it very well. Yes, Warren. So now, Andy with a bit more work to do. We just flicked the table two with Warren. He's going to finish on reds. And again, he's elected to play the safety shot. Perhaps Warren not feeling the most comfortable. Derek has got a chance to just come off the side cushion into the yellow. He wouldn't leave very much. I think Warren will look at that shot and perhaps see it. It's a bit of an error. You never know though. It might come good for him. If he can get out of the snooker successfully, it's a red. Still not very much left on for Derek. William having played it at quite a slow pace. He's just pulling his face, he's wearing so whilst he thinks about it, well goes to the other table. Maka looking at whether or not he can perhaps play this yellow off the red, I think. Looks like he well he's enough to play it at pace if he does do. And if he doesn't then um, so if he does play at pace then it's gonna be harder to get the right contact on the red and still pot the yellow. So Could perhaps get on the black. I mean, he got the, the yellows. Uh, I mean, good positions for finishing the frame. Oh, 
actually, so just landed a bit awkward. He hasn't got a shot at all to speak of. And after Derek didn't get out the snooker, sorry, after um, Warren didn't get out the snooker, Derek's at the table here on yellows. With a good look at bringing it all square. He's looking at the line of the black. He's going to bring it out and take the black into the right pocket. Bit of screw in the right hand side. And he's played it well. And this brings the squares all level again. Tight run game, this. With some good pull being played. Tried to come off the cushion and back to put the yellow that he was nearest. Russell subsequently played a very good snooker. But Macca, with a worldy, has given himself a chance to get him back into the frame. trying to pot the yellow and then play the yellow off one of the reds to open the pocket up for the black whatever he feels most comfortable doing see if he takes it into that top right pocket the white could end up behind those reds that's the angle it'd be going on he doesn't want to leave too much distance between the white and the yellow and he wants to leave the white high on the yellow so that he can guarantee position on the black. See what he's got planned here. Is he trying to go into these reds and just move them out of the way somehow? Yeah, just kind of... Uh, not lash it, that's not fair, but... Wasn't much he could do in reality. already started text messages what time will you be on at the end
peanuts and monkeys. And Russell sinks it. So now this is a good chance. Got to think about how he's going to get on the blank. It looks like he's got an angle here where he could whack into the Ella, move it out of the way, leave himself pretty straight on the red to the bottom pocket. Maybe just a little bit of angle. Can roll that on and off and then get a good chance to screw down for the black into the bottom right bag. On the other table, Nick Gallagher seems to be on a finish on yellows. Had to top this through and develop the group of balls. Played the shot I spoke of. Looks like he's going to screw it back. Screws it back. He's got a good enough angle. And he's hit it perfectly. Russell now doesn't have to worry too much about the yellow of the bag. Natural angle. He'll probably leave it about four inches to the right of the yellow. He doesn't want to be bridging over the yellow. That's for sure. Played it well. It's a good black, and that gives the lads from Blackpool <laughs> the lead. Nick didn't manage to take his finish out, so. Dave Birchall. Not looking uh, like it's a great chance for the finish in the frame, but if that red at the bottom of the table, nearest the black, will go past into this pocket nearest the camera, which, from Dave's body language, you would suggest it does. Then he has got a decent look at this. Just over it, that. By quite a while as well. <coughs> Just uh, getting down a little bit quick, Dave, for me there. I think he knew he went out of position. Didn't want to appear like he wasn't in good shape and now just rushed it a little bit. Get the right angle, Dave. Screw this on and off the cushion. The closer to the right centre pocket you can get, the better. And it just came from that black, black positional shot on his red previously. Nick got to cue this. Make sure he leaves himself high. Awkward this is because he's bridging over the cushion. Doesn't want to have to do too much with the white ball here. Obviously the further the white ball has to travel, the more difficult it is to judge position. Just uh, quite a funny little shadow to show you. As Bo dancing as he... Uh, As he takes, uh, packs the balls up. Nick, down on this very fast. Just take your time. That's a good black. And 7 5. This is a topsy turvy match. Dave's 
know some friend of uh, oh it's Clive saying head up to Dave that man can hold his head high today he's been a great player and it was only a slightly out of position shape and it took a, a good return from the break looking to put the team from Blackpool in a frame of victory the two table format though this can turn around very quickly should the finish not got the way of Asbo Quite sure who uh, Lee's playing against here. The whole of the uh, Merseyside team were sat down, so not expecting a goal by the looks of it. Perfect on the red. About as good as he could have played it, that is. The white now will come down towards this yellow on the bottom cushion. Wants to leave an angle so that he can get on the black. Touch the left hand side here. If he's going to play it into the bottom right pocket, then he wants to play it with a touch of left. If he's going to try and hold it, Touch the bottom and left. And he managed to play it soft enough to give himself good possession still on the back. So that is the Blackpool team on the hill. Eight to five. And on the other table. Derek has a chance to take the title. Squeeze this red in between those two. Played it well. The only ball which is a slight problem is the red on. Um, I'll try and circle it right there. No, further down. There. That red's a little bit of an issue. And if you can get on it now, like that, that's a magnificent shot. It looks like he's going to have to screw off the cushion now. Come back. Because he wants to be on the red. To the right hand pocket next. And that's fine. And uh, it's a level of the confidence that the unfortunately the Liverpool team have got in Derek is that they've not even bothering to rack the balls on the other table Derek is in absolute prime position here and it does look as though the team from Blackpool will be taking the title here well played Derek and well played Leeds scum it sounds so wrong but very very well played indeed and a good game it was indeed and a good performance from both teams uh, I think um, I think the scoreline flatters Leeds come slightly but the result is there well done well coverage will stop here for a 